वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एम एस एन बाय आसिफ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सेफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ क्रिटिकली इल पेशेंट सो वेन आई एम गोइंग टू से अबाउट द क्रिटिकली इल पेशेंट द पेशेंट इज विद द वेंटिलेटर विद द इन्फ्यूजन पम्प सीरेंज पम्प एंड देन आर्ट्रल लाइन सेंट्रल लाइन लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स आर डेयर सो ऑलरेडी द पेशेंट इज क्रिटिकल and we are going to be shift this patient from one area to other area from ER to ICU ER to CT scan now when we are going to be shift this kind of patient it's a challenge for us right so who are the experienced nurses they know they have the skills but the student nurses the nurses who newly joined the nursing career this topic is very important for them okay so we will see the scenario first which type of the patient came to the er and what are the management is done okay so the patient is a like 40 year male patient like patient name is xyz and brought to the er with left sided arm weakness slurred speech and the facial drooping and he is in the gasping breathing when he received in the er he is in the gasping type of the breathing and patient is a known case of atrial fibrillation but he is he is vitally unstable So we check the vitals. Vitals BP is 80 by 40. The saturation is 76. Gasping type of the breathing is there. Pulse is 108 and skin is cold to touch. So what it means? So here the airway circulation is compromised and patient is a Curie stroke. So what are the management is decide? What is the plan decide? So here the stabilization of the airway circulation and then the CT scan is planned. So here first we have to be uh, stabilize the airway and circulation so imagine you are in the ems you are in the er and one patient came to the er like this on the stretcher and you you took the patient on the stretcher monitor is attached then what are the things will be going on in front of you okay so we'll see what are the management going on the so we know bp is 80 by 40 which, which is a very less so we first took the iv line and we started the peripheral norad how we prepared is basically a 4 by 100 means uh, we have to be take two ampule of the norad and mix with the 100 ml of fns and we started the infusion as per order 3 ml 4 ml per hour we started then at the same time the doctor went to the right side of the patient and he took the abg we sent the abg sample for the test so this is a critically ill patient so we are doing in the fast ways to save the patient's life so abg sample taken by the doctor meanwhile the other doctor taken the concern for the intubation central line arterial line and then doctor came to the head end then now he is ready for the intubation we kept all things of intubation ready we kept the venti ready doctor is done the intubation intubation is done then we attach the venti tube to the et doctor came to the other side of the patient he is asking for the central line we kept all the equipments ready central line insertion is also done then meanwhile the other nurse bring the norad as per order we started the double strain norad because we have the central line right now so in the double strain basically we are using 8 by 54 ampule in 50 ml ns so double strain norad is started at 4 ml per hour but it is started in the infusion pump so on the infusion pump double strain norad is going on Then as per the abg doctor ask about the bicarbonate infusion we started the bicarbonate infusion iv fluid ns also we started then doctor came for the then doctor went for the arterial line so the arterial line we all kept the things ready we will make a separate video about it but i am explaining in short so we attach the bag pressure monitoring pressure bag to the ens bottle we attach the pressure tubings pressure monitoring tubings and hang the bottle then we we squeeze it to the 300 mm of hg then the pressure monitoring cable that cable is attached to the arm of the patient and then we flush the line so we kept ready for the arterial line so arterial line insertion is done pressure monitoring cable is attached so arterial line wave is also kept now after all this we given the medication like double strain norad we started the bica then penta uh, then fentamidase infusion is also going on iv fluid is going on so after all this the vitals are stable the oxygen is improved and once the stabilization is done the doctor is asking about the ct scan now what's your role 
how you are going to be shift this type of the critically ill patient so just rewind yourself what are the things happened patient came to the ems then took the peripheral line then you started the peripheral norad 4 by 100 and it hang over there then what doctor take the abg abg we send the test then doctor came to the head end then then what happened doctor did the intubation we attached the patient to the ventilator then doctor went to the central line central line insertion done so through the central line what are the things we given now norad double strain pentamidaz infusion bicarbonate iv fluid ans so there are th- three things are there in the infusion pump one is a norad second is a pentamidaz third is a bicarb so three infusion pump is there iv fluid ans is there and that iv fluid ans is also going with the infusion pump so three syringe pump one infusion pump iv fluid and then these lines are connected to the central line then arterial line is there so arterial line is hang over there so these all things are there in front of you and this type of the patient you are going to be shift to the ct scan so here we seen the case scenario we know about the critical illness of the patient we seen all the things now we have to be transport this patient in the effective way how we are going to be transport so we are going to be transport the patient in the three steps assessment of the patient preparation of the equipment and safe transportation so these first two steps are going hands on hands so it's a team in the emergency department it's a team in the icu who help to each other so once we are doing assessment someone else is going to be prepared the equipment first we will see about the assessment of the patient so we will see about the check the stability of the patient so let's see the patient's area let's check the patient how is the patient patient is stable patient airway is okay there is no any problem then check for the vitals so we are going to be check the vitals in the vitals we are going to be check the pulse respiration bp and oxygen saturation temperature here we are going to be check the sugar also so here you have to be check the pulse manual also because because always it is important to feel the pulse because it gives much characteristics as compared to the monitor then what then meanwhile we call for the help we ask for the keep the equipment ready then assess the airway so here you have to be auscultate the airway you have to be check for the inspiratory strider any auscult need of suctioning if any need of suctioning before transportation you have to be keep ready then check for the lines and tubes what are the lines are having the patient so one is a central line right then arterial line et tube and venti tubing foley's okay so what are the things are there central line is there arterial line is there et tube is there venti is there and foley's is there so keep in mind when you are going to be attach any medication to the central line with the pmo line or electro cath you have to be always label it which medication it is then we have the arterial line so make sure how is the arterial line is going on how is the reading coming then et tube so check the et tube is fixed properly venti tubings are there then foley's so they ask for the pca to empty the bag of foley's before transportation of the patient then what are the other inf- what are the infusions going on so norad support is there then bicarb is there then pentamidaz infusion is there and then we had iv fluid ans so these are the things we assess in the patient now we have to be prepare the equipment so in the step 2 what are the things are there preparation of equipment so what are things are present in the patient patient is on the venti the infusion pumps are there the urine bag is there arterial line is there now to make this transportation it easy what are the equipment we will be required 
So for the venti, we will be required the transport ventilator. To make the continued oxygen supply during the transportation, we will be required the O2 cylinder with venti port. So we all know O2 cylinder came with the flow meter and the venti port. We will be required the venti port, red cylinder with the venti port. Then infusion pumps are there. So we have to be make sure all the syringe pumps are fully charged. Because if any syringe pump is going to be stopped, during the transportation, the BP may fall, the patient may become unstable, anything happen with the patient. Then what will be required? Urine bag is there, so empty the urine bag before transportation. Why I am stressing on this? Because you kept all things ready and urine bag is not emptied and you kept the urine bag at the patient side and it get leaked. So you kept all things ready, but this urine bag may create the problem for you for white transportation. So empty the urine bag is very important. Then arterial line is there. So we have to be keep the arterial line ready, no issue. But before the transportation, we have to be kept on the patient side. So uh, anything else we will be required here? Yes, very important transportation bag. This is your backup support. So in that bag, your airway devices will be there. All emergency medicines will be there. So once all these things are present near you, so here all the equipments are ready. Now you can go for the third step. This step is very important because you kept all things ready but how you are going to be used in the effective way and how you are going to make this transportation very effective is completely depend on this stage. Okay, so you have all the equipments. So first attach transport monitor to the patient. So uh, next is, you know, the infusion pumps, syringe pumps are there, infusion pumps are there, this all at the patient side hanging. You ask the doctor, any infusion which is not that much emergency can be stopped. Like here we had what midas, fenta midas. Then we had bicarb. Then we had NORAD. Then we had NS in future. So here you can ask the doctor anything that we can reduce for transportation because CT scan usually take a less than minute but including the transportation it may take 5 to 10 minutes. So meanwhile anything that we can cut off like IV fluid NS I can cut off or bike up. So with the consultation of doctor you can remove some of infusions that will be a easy for the traveling then what you take the syringe pump from the stand and then you have to be kept on the patient side so you have two syringe pump where you will keep this syringe pump syringe pump So here you have two syringe pump. So where you will keep this syringe pump? Best place between the legs. You can keep it. Never keep any equipment on the patient. A single movement of the patient can cause fall of the equipment. 
so to so to reduce the chance of any injury to the patient and the equipment you have to be make sure you are not going to be keep anything on the patient's body then you have now two syringe pump that you are going to be place the syringe pump in between the patient leg and keep sure that the lines of the syringe pumps are going smoothly in the direction of the center line it should not go any heavy here and there it should be in the same line so your infusion problem is sorted now then what next you have the arterial line for the arterial line what you are going to be do just disconnect the pressure bag and keep at the patient side make sure the the line is not going to be mixed with the central line so your arterial line problem is also solved now what next you had the urine bag so your urine bag is already empty so for the time being you can clamp the catheter and keep the urine bag also at the patient side so urine bag problem is also sorted then next what then next what next is your ventilator very important i i went to this ventilator at the end because this is very important and while doing all these things we are not going to be come in the airway once we finish all these things we are going to be come to the airway now we have transport ventilator so first attach transport venti to o2 cylinder on it and check so once it is functioning properly it's confirm then attach venti tubing to transport venti so here your patient is completely ready so patient is on the bed in the syringe pumps the infusion pump we stop iv fluid we stop then we had the three syringe pump norad fentamidas infusion bicarb we asked the doctor we stop the bicarb now we had two infusion that is a norad and fentamidas infusion so these two infusion we kept at the between the patient leg and we kept all the tubes on the same line of the central line insertion Then we removed the pressure bag and that also kept on the patient side. Then what we did? Then we clamped the urine bag and we attached. We kept the at the patient side. Then at the other side we did. We attached the venti to the transport venti. So here your patient is completely ready for the transportation. So can you ship? No. Wait. Very important things remain. Call and confirm the destination. Can I ship the patient? once they said ship the patient then you take the patient to the ct scan now you reach to the ct scan you transport the patient very well you reach to the ct scan and you bring the bed to the ct table then you bring the bed to the ct table now here the transportation now here the all the things are clear from your side there are nothing no any work in the ct scan that removing the ct pump connecting the tube nothing is there all things are ready the your patient is completely ready for the transportation so just go at the side of the patient tell someone to go at the other side there at the head end for the protection of the airway and then on the count of 1 2 3 lift the patient to the one side and attach the shifter over there so doctor, doctor is ready for the protection of the airway you check all the lines and tubes are correct no any problem your shifter is connected then on count of 3 ship the patient to the ct bed then what next attach the safety belt keep the monitor at the head end that monitor should be opposite side that from the ct screen we can observe the monitor and then what your work is done now the ct scan will be takes place it will take 
less than one minute and once the CT scan done you take the patient back you open the belt with the same technique doctor at the head and protection of the airway you check the lines and tubes nothing is coming between and then you take the patient back to the bed and now you bring the patient back to the EMS area this is the easiest way that you can shift the patient from one area to other that critically ill patient and that is the conclusion of our topic safe transportation of critically ill patient so here you understood how we can make this transportation in the easiest and the safest way see if we do all these things in the stepwise there will be no any problem to you otherwise if you bring this patient directly to the ct scan and you are going to be remove the lines lines are coming in between it will be a very difficult and it can be a make a complication to the patient and you so you have to be make sure before shifting the patient to the CT scan on any or other area, you have to be completely ready for the shifting of the patient. So this is the way that you can shift the patient. So we will recall all these things in the fast, fast way. So what happens from the start? Patient came to the ER. So you take the line, peripheral infusion started, then doctor take the ABG, then what? the intubation done central line insertion done arterial line insertion done the infusion four infusion started that is a pentamidase infusion norad double strain then soda bicarb and the iv fluid ns infusion so we after all these things patient is stable so once stabilized the doctor plan for the transportation so we kept ready for the assessment of the patient preparation of the equipment and safe transportation in the assessment we assess for the stability we assess for the airway we see the airway is uh, patent there is no any secretion if any secretion before transportation we have to be removed the secretion then what we check the vitals of the patient then we check the lines and tubing then we check the what are the medications are going on and always make sure all the medication which is going on to the syringe pump it should be a label because it will be easy in the emergency that you can remove which one you can connect which one then very important topic which i uh, which i not told to you before shifting of the patient you make sure, make sure your syringe pump is full then what then we see about the preparation of the equipment so we know patient is on the venti so we will be required a transport ventilator we will be required the o2 cylinder then we will be required a transport monitor then we will be required all the syringe pump should be charged police then the police bag should be empty so with all these things with all these things our equipments are ready so we will be required the bag which is contained about the all the emergency airways and medication with all these things our equipments are ready now the transportation part safe transportation part that is the third step which is very important so here what we did we asked the doctor and remove the two one infusion and one syringe pump that is iv fluid ns infusion and then bicarb syringe pump to make it easiest way to transportation of patient if we bring all these things it will be a it will be a complexity of all the lines and tubings come together in between the transportation which may cause the complication so always try to make it as a simple form then we kept all only two things we then we keep these two infusion then to we keep these two syringe pump at the patient side and we make sure that the tubes are going to the center line direction not here and there then we remove the pressure bag and we kept on the patient bed then what uh, we make sure that the urine bag is empty and then we clamp the urine bag for a while and we keep that also and then what we did at the end we attach the transport venti to the O2 and then once confirm about the once confirm about the functioning of transport venti we detach the venti tubing and attach to the transport venti so our patient completely ready then we ship our patient completely ready then we call and confirm the destination should we ship the patient and once we get the confirmation with the doctor we ship the patient to the CT scan by this all preparation you can make the transportation of these critically ill patients very easy and uncomplicated so I hope you all understood and you all enjoy my session and to watch more interesting video 
प्लीज शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक माई चैनल थैंक यू